What's the next big step after you've created your first Hello Cloud application? Hi, I'm Stuart. I'm here to guide you through the fascinating world of cloud oriented object programming. You've learned to deploy a simple app, but did you know you can create an entire virtual ecosystem in the cloud? Let's explore the core principles of object oriented programming or OOP in the cloud context. Today, we'll cover classes as a microservice inheritance as a service, layers, polymorphism as a multi-cloud adaptability as well. So if you're ready to turn your code into a thriving digital skyline, stay tuned. So now let's explore object-oriented programming principles with a cloud-inspired twist. The goal of this code is to provide a framework for creating and controlling different types of virtual servers, such as web servers and database servers. Here, what we're going to do first is we're going to define classes to manage a virtual machines and their functionalities. First of all, we create our base class virtual instance. This represents a generic virtual machine with an ID and a state. The state will either be running or stopped. What it does is it provides a method to start and stop our instance. The web server class inherits from virtual instance and adds a domain attribute to represent the website associated with the server. You can see that it also has a deploy website method that checks the instance state and deploys the website, of course, if it's running. Next, we'll look at the database service class, which inherits from a virtual instance and adds a database name attribute. This also has this backup method that checks the instance state and performs a backup of the database if it's running. The provided usage demonstrates creating objects of these classes, which is starting and stopping an instance and performing actions, you know, for example, deploying websites and backing up databases based on the inheritance state. Essentially, this code models the concept of virtual machines and their associated operations. The class simulates um, cloud instant behavior, showing how OOP can model very complex systems. We can see in this example that it demonstrates a couple of things. Firstly, we can look at encapsulation. Instances or instant details are encapsulated within the virtual instance class. The inheritance is the web server and database server because they inherit from the virtual instance. And then finally, there's polymorphism. Both child classes have a unique method, which is deploy website and backup. In this code, we use all three here as they can really help us model a complex cloud system for more efficiently and cap more efficiently. Encapsulation protects our instance states. Inheritance, this lets us share common virtual instant features, and then polymorphism allows us to treat different server types uniformly when is needed. So what does this mean? These concepts help us create more organized, flexible, and maintainable code when dealing with diverse cloud resources and operations. Great, now, instead of just deploying simple apps, we can create sophisticated cloud systems using object oriented principles. Master these concepts to design scalable microservice and adapt multi-cloud applications. You can practice these ideas to level up your cloud development skills and also your Python skills. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more cloud coding content, like and subscribe to the AWS Developers YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy cloud coding.